because there, there's a lot about customer understanding and everybody always talks about customer understanding. Peter, you have developed a new tool um, which takes it to the next level. Things that we as retailers always wanted to know um, on being able to forecast when do these specific high spending groups come? Uh, do they come this year or is it, was it just a little bubble? Um, can you explain a bit more about the tool that you've developed and what kind of data can we get out of it as an industry? Mm -hmm. That's called a B1S, a B Business Intelligence Service, and it actually uh, measures the, the attitudes and behavior of shoppers at all the airports or main airports around the world. So you actually ask them, why did you buy certain products? How did you decide uh, at all the kind of airports? And it, it also allows you to look into different nationalities, categories. So if you want to see how did Chinese behave at European airports when buying beauty? Uh, how do they inform themselves? Which channels uh, do they look into? Who do they buy for? What are the key drivers, etc.? So this will help the, the players in the industry, the, the, the brands, the, the retailers and the airports, of course, to really to look into what is what are the needs? How can I meet the needs? What are they looking for? What is missing in my portfolio, in my offer? How important is sense of place uh, to the passengers that come through my airport? So all those are learnings that you can really break down into any kind of groups. Plus we combine that with um, air forecasting data, which we do together with IATA, which is the most uh, precise one because the, the other booking systems, um, uh, companies, they, they, they base their data mainly on what's what people book their flights through booking systems yes. and not through direct uh, airline uh, bookings. And IATA has uh, the data from direct airline bookings, so it's, it's very, very precise and very accurate. And we have a few uh, brands and retailers who have been starting to work with this, so they really can see what is in Chinese New Year, what am I ex how many Chinese can I expect at my airport during this time, what do they want? Uh, we can see that on, on, on the data that we have collected, so it really helps them to, to plan very, very precisely and also to make plans uh, for the future, of course. What are the trends and now that it, um, many Chinese do not fly to uh, South Korea anymore? Where else are they going and mm. what do they want to buy there and, and how can we meet those needs? So these are all tools that, that help and actually uh, all the, the, the players in the industry to, to get smarter and to meet the needs. And, and many of the data in there would actually support exactly what, what you were doing uh, because it helps them to, to meet the needs and so they can all kind of be connected. and. And, and consumers and, and travelers, they just love it if, if, the, if the retailers in the airports are smart and they see, okay, wow, they have reacted to what I want and then they take it as a positive aspect and they will be more satisfied and they will recommend it to, to their friends and peers and they will, they will buy more. So it, it's actually quite simple. You just have to use the data and, uh, and, and approach it in the right way. Yeah, and of course, likewise, that data is very valuable also in a digital sense that um, you know, the same promotions that you're doing online should also be offline. Exactly. Um, and and the, the possibility for promotions in an online space are also massive. I mean, the, the, the example that a lot of people are aware of is that Alibaba on Singles Day sold more product than eBay in the entire year. Um, this is just mind blowing. Uh, just think about the kind of logistics you have to have to do that. But um, the, it, it is very impressive and, and they have built a cult around this promotion basically that had didn't exist five years ago you know and it's it's not unlike what um, the the us is doing on black friday and what we're seeing now is that the sales online on black friday are starting to get close to uh, the sales offline on black friday yeah so so doing these kind of joint online offline initiatives are, are bec is becoming more and more relevant as well 